Hello and welcome to Lord Fishkill's Curse, a Thief to Fan mission by Shadowspawn, and the sequel to uh, Logan's Web, which I played recently. Let us begin. Who's there? Speak up! Recall how you got into this mess. I mean, that doesn't give me much information for choosing difficulty levels. Let's just stick with hard, I guess, as my default. Mr. Garrett. Meet me at midnight on top of Sir Colin's Keep, near the Necromancer's Tower. I've arranged for his guards to be absent tonight. I have an offer you must listen to. Make sure you are there tonight. I have guards near your friend Basso's home. You wouldn't want something to happen to Basso and his bride. Until later this evening, Lord Fishkill. I do not have directional control, just mouse control. A little weird having the uh, view bob from walking in a canvator, but... Okay, I'm here. Where are you, Mr. Fishkill? What did you want to coerce me into doing? Mr. Garrett, are you here? Yeah, Fishkill, I'm here. What do you Why, want? Why, Mr. Garrett? No time for pleasantries? I'm not feeling very pleasant, and I don't much like having my friends threaten. <laughs> Garrett, we are both men of the world. We use people to get the things we want. Surely you don't deny it. Come on, Fishkill. Let's get this over with. As you wish, Garrett. I am here to offer you a position in my organization. You are the only one who has ever succeeded in infiltrating my estate. I wish to make sure no one ever does it again. I'm offering to make you my head of security. I'm not looking for regular employment at this time. Don't take this lightly, Mr. Garrett. Although I have done well following your exploits, do not think I am overly grateful. You are too much of an unstable influence on the events of the world. The answer is still no, then, Mr. Fishkill. Mr. Garrett, I have no choice but to remove you as a threat. What? <laughs> you intend to try to no, kill me? No, Garrett. I won't be the one to remove you. <laughs> Have a nice life, Garrett. What's left of it. That's how I got into this mess. Alright, I guess the difficulty doesn't matter on that. It's just an intermission. Fair enough. Uh, oh god, I didn't find any loot. Alright. Well, okay, he used some cheaty magics on us, and uh, it's not fair, really. The keepers got me to safety. Now they've got me stashed away in the dark. I can't go out in the light where the monsters appear. I hear them all the time, like they're all around me, trying to find their way into this world. This will drive me mad. And I don't think I can take it much longer. I've got to do something. Find some way to new remove or neutralize this damn curse, okay. <sighs> okay. Mr. Garrett? Mr. Garrett? Are you there? What if I say no? Message for you. Yeah. Uh, I feel lucky tonight. Do you want to stick down to the door? Here. Hello. Hmm. Must not be here. Well, I'll just leave this stuff out here. Uh, I feel lucky tonight. What was that? Hmm. I do wonder what would have happened if I opened the door. Garrett, I think we may have a temporary solution to your little problem. 
There is a small observation room nearby. Meet me there. Head out onto the rooftops and go west around this building. Cross over on the pipes to the building with the antenna. Then head south. You'll see a small room overlooking two generators. Search around on that wall for a secret way in. I left you some equipment which may help you reach me. Keep it all low. Meet him, find out how he can help with the curse. Alright. Uh, oh, flash bombs. Holy water, do we have undead? Water arrows. Healing potions, okay. Oh, one more. Well, that's a very generous helping. What other stuff do I have? I've got two mines. My lockpicks. Some flares. Usual equipment. Lots of broadheads. 14 water arrows. Two fire arrows. Three ropes. Well, that's a good amount of equipment there. Alright, I do wonder what would have happened if I had let him in. You know what? I'm going to find out, because we haven't really had any spent any time. Mr. Garrett? Mr. Garrett? Yep. What do we have here? A mutual acquaintance paid me to bring you this equipment and this letter. He said you would understand the message. Good luck, Mr. Garrett. Okay. That's a nice bit of uh, scripting just to just react to if you want to open the door or not. It doesn't really make any difference. It leaves just all the stuff here. So, okay. I prefer to be unseen. I prefer not to. The fewer people recognize me, the better. Right, let's reload the save where I didn't open the door. I like that. That's kind of cool. Alright. Do we have a map? Oh, we do. We know where we are, right? What does the note say about where we're trying to get to? Head out of the rooftops. Go west around this building. Okay. Um, okay, so just like Logan's Web reused the city from Assassins, this is using the, reusing the city from Life of the Party. Well, it shouldn't matter having the lights on, should it? So cold. <laughs> So very cold. So very cold. What? What do we have? Seven voices? Diary. I've been robbed twice here, and I thought it was such a nice place. Well, no one will find my little treasures now. You'd have to be a bird to discover them. And a strong one at that. Ha <laughs> ha! Bird, huh? <laughs> Disconcerting giggles there. Is that the curse making me hallucinate them? Yeah, hide your stuff on the window ledge. I can't get out to the rooftops from here. Oh, it's just behind the bell tower, I see. Okay. What the hell is that? What the? Uh... You don't look friendly. <laughs> Are you? Am I hallucinating you? Curse. I'm gonna see weird metal headed monstrosities. Uh, 
I just have spiders. That seems to trigger when we go into the light, so... Nope, lights off. Let's stay out of the light. I mean, that's... What can I want to do anyway, right? Can we play darts? No. <clears throat> oh, just gonna get used to working side by side with women. What? Apparently causing a ruckus in the bar can make crashes. I'm not causing a ruckus. Alright, I don't remember where I... Quick save, I guess we'll quick save frequently. Let's test the theory, right? Let's go into the light and see if stuff happens. Yes. What the fuck? Okay, let's stay out of the light. What do you want? If you're gonna make fireball throwing spiders, you just... You're not making an interesting gameplay that way, you're just making uh well we'll just quick save quick load is kind of annoying. Alright. Should we turn the lights out down here? How am I gonna get that loot without being seen? I mean, maybe it's okay to be seen? Just dump the weapons out? Oh. I didn't do that! That wasn't me! Well, I didn't crash. I think there's something weird going on. Yeah, I mean, you're right about that, that's for sure. <laughs> oh. Stay alert. Something's going on. It disappeared. Okay. Something Mr. strange is going on. Yeah. Be so extra careful. I am trying to be. Okay, that's lights. I guess I shouldn't go that way, right? Stay alert. Something's going on. Get out onto the rooftops. How do I get out onto the rooftops, actually? Was there stairs up? Am I just blinded? I know we can get onto the window ledge. Maybe I could have gone out my window? Did I check? There's well, no stairs up. What do you know? I can go out my own windows. And there's a bell tower. <laughs> help me. Please help me. So that's the thing I heard before. It's a seventh machine head that shoots darts at me. Okay, let's check our instructions while we're kind of hiding here. Turn out onto the rooftops, go west around the building, cross over on the pipes to the building with the antenna. So we head over that way. Oh yeah, we gotta stay out of the light, because <laughs> going into the light seems to trigger <sighs> weird things happening. <laughs> Alright, they don't stay around forever, that's good news. We avoid them. If we can avoid them, we're okay. Okay, hello. 
Shit. Ah! Try to zoom in and see what's up there. Okay. <laughs> you now it's still some kind of like warning sound as you started getting into the light. <laughs> don't know how to avoid being in the light up here. Do. Trying to grab the ladder, but uh, that looks like keep it all over. But uh, he's just looking it out. All right. Wait. Uh, oh, you want a piece of me? I mean, you do. Head to the building with the antenna. Head south. Go west around this building, cross over on the pipes to the building with the antenna there, head south. Oh. Small room overlooking two generators. Right, we do need to be up there. Right, so I need to go up that ladder again. So this is where I need to be. Okay, so secret way in. That looks like the secret way in. Hold on. Garrett, there you are. I cannot stay long. I am already late. Here, take this key. You will need it to enter the Mage's Research Center. Read the scroll on the table. It contains much of what you need to know. All right. You must seek help from the librarian in the research center. He is easy to recognize. He looks like an orangutan. Do not hurt him. Meet me later. The squirrel will tell you where. I must hurry now. <laughs> Meet the librarian. He's easy to recognize. He looks like an orangutan. Okay, but will he get upset if I call him a monkey? Uh, more Discworld references. I guess that's part of the course Logan's web was full of them, right? Garrett, I'm sorry I could not stay to help you. I'm pursuing a permanent cure for your curse, and I'm already late to meet with my brothers. Since you're not being attacked in this room, we are correct in our understanding of how the curse detects you. You see, the pagan light before you cannot be detected by Lord Fishkill's magic. Therefore, although you are visible to humans, the magic of the curse cannot see you. I would imagine that you'll be invisible to the curse in almost any form of magical light. It is the more mundane light sources which will make you visible. This provides a solution. A contact in the Mater's Research Center knows of a device which will hide you from the curse, even in normal daylight conditions. He cannot simply get it for you, you will have to break into the center and locate the item. It is some kind of amulet. Our contact will give you more information when you get inside. Our contact is the librarian in the Mater's Research Center. We have shared much knowledge over the years, and although the goals of the Mater's do not match our own, he has come to understand our purpose is for the greater good. Garrett, do not be alarmed by the appearance of the librarian. A magical accident years ago has turned him into an orangutan. He prefers this shape and has resisted all attempts to repair the damage. He is still a potent sorcerer. Do not harm him or allow him to be harmed by the curse, or there will be no further assistance for you from the keepers. The librarian must keep his affiliation with us a secret. He cannot help you with the other mages. You will have to use your skills to locate and steal the item. We do not completely know the relationship between Lord Fishkill and some of the mages. He is most likely still friendly with some of them. Beware, they may have been warned you are coming, and might attempt to capture you. Access to the Major's Research Center is, to the best of our knowledge, only through the old Necromancer Spire. You'll need the key I gave you to get into the underground areas. After you have acquired the amulet, meet me on the rooftops, northeast of the bank. There is a small passageway in the area, I will meet you there. I have left you some information on what we have determined about the creatures which the curse summons. There may be some information to help you combat them. Good luck, Carrot. Okay, so this light does not... Does not cause me problems. Okay, more flash bombs. Invisibility potions. Slowfall potion. And a book. 
studies into the summoned creatures of Lord Fishkill. It would seem that Fishkill has been studying Karaj's art. Two of the creatures we have seen summoned are powered by dead souls, kept from their rest, and they have been somehow merged with machinery bearing much resemblance to Karaj's work. I suspect Fishkill is delving into necromancy and mechanist technologies. It would seem that these monsters cannot long abide our world. They seem to become unstable in a short period of time and vanish. It is also fortunate that the spell requires time to recharge before it can summon another monster. Floating Skull. This apparition appears to be powered by a dead soul of one of Karis's masked slaves. The skull of one dead unfortunate is married to a floating piece of machinery. The soul cries out for release, but is forced to eternal work by the machine. We can only hope that once all of Karis's slave souls are laid to rest, none of these abominations can be created. Classification Undead, Attack Form, Magic Missiles. Vulnerabilities, like most undead, I suspect it would be harmed by bright light of a flash trap explosion, or by holy water. Armor or Skeletal Warrior. Another monster powered by a dead soul, this one is most of a human skeleton, wrapped in an armored torso and head. Apparently both arms have been removed, and one has been replaced by a metal arm, probably for enhanced fighting ability. Part of the skull can be seen through the head armor, possibly to allow the undead soul to see its target. These souls do not seem to be forced to their work, but appear to be truly insane. Classification Undead, Attack Form, Sword, Vulnerabilities, probably affected by standard undead defenses. Weapons probably have no effect due to the heavy armor. Ah, so the fact that I hit it with my sword and it disappeared... Was that just coincidence? Was it just... did it just vanish of its own timeout? You know, from being too long in our world, out this bat at the same time that I hit it with the sword, that might be true. Nothing seems to stay around longer than, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. Fire Spider. This appears to be a normal creature which has been translated into our world. It must live in a strange, harsh environment, totally alien to us. However, since it radiates much heat and shoots super hot venom, I expect it seldom encounters water or cold. Fishkill must have discovered this creature by expanding on his researches upon discovering how to reach the moor after following Garrett's trail. Classification Spider, Unknown Origins. Attack form, shooting, superheated venom, fire aura. Vulnerabilities, I expect only water or perhaps cold can do this creature any harm. Fire may even strengthen it. Alright, well we don't have a ton of water arrows, we don't want to be spending them recklessly I don't think. Okay, well, given the proclivity of this mission for crashing, I'm gonna do more hard saves than usual. So, Necromancer Spire then is our next target. So that's, well, just around the corner. The question is, are we gonna be in the dark more than <laughs> staying on the rooftops? <laughs> Good. I need to head around north, so let's go. <laughs> Not looking at me right now. Oh shit. <laughs> We're not going that way. Ah. Wow, well, I didn't reload my hard save, but that's okay. Hard saves are just a backup plan. Yeah. Oh, There's gonna be a lot of falling to my death, I guess, because that's. Let's just stay out of the spider's way, shall we? I'm trying to stay out of the light. I wanted to come down here, but of course, fell to my death. But uh, since I had kind of a reason to be slightly panicked. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Nothing. You heard nothing, man. Damn mantling. Come out and face me, villain. Keep it up. Keep it up already. Hmm. 
Must be one of them grubbers again. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna summon more cursey monsters if we go in here. Let's let's not. I guess let's stay in the dark. The lady from the pub went. I guess so. What's that stone there? Is that a gravestone? I just want to try and avoid that light. Who's there? I love to rob places, but uh, darkness is kind of necessary, right? Wait a minute, I'm heading west. Oh, okay, yeah. Here, yeah, it's a little further. That was the scale of the map was different than I remembered. In Shit. In dear remembrance of those gallant guardians, but I can't read the rest. In mind. I don't want to waste resources on you if I don't have to. I'm gonna, probably going to need them against mages and things. You do look rather unhappy to be here. You'll go in a minute. Do remember so those gallant guardians who spent their lives protecting the honor of Lady Van Burnett. And uh, that's going to be a similar. Well! Oh, I hurt myself by, by accident there. Right? To read this sign while he's busy being cursed up there. Hello, cursed basketball. <laughs> In solemn memory of the brave soldiers who died protecting Master Willie's honor. Coming in here is probably a bad idea, right? Dear diary, that Jimmy is so silly, as if I could love a boy from his background. I mean, he has working class parents. It's not like his father is a lord, or even a duke or a baron. I will certainly marry someone like that. I should never have kissed him that night. Now he thinks he loves me. I had to tell him in no uncertain terms that we can never be together. He seems so sad. It was so embarrassing. Oh well, tomorrow I'm going shopping. Alright, alright. Back in the darkness, in just in time. So that uh, thing decided to spawn above the street, which is kind of funny. So I guess we don't always have to worry about the uh, the creatures. I guess it all depends on where they decide to uh, appear. there while well, I'm going to check out this room. Hello. Some valuables. <gasps> oh, can I get to the upper ledge here? Because the upper ledge is going to let me uh, get up there, right? It'd be reachable. I guess I can rope. <sighs> right, I should have. I can 
climb up this way. Maybe. Still, same old guards on the same old patrol. Something moved there. Who goes there? You see this? <gasps> Even thing. I mean, he, he succeeded against it. You saw me? Shit, that means the out. Means the out just gonna see me too, isn't he? Where's the necromancer spire anyway? North of here. Oh, there's the roof. I can see that. Can see its roof. Come on, face me, face me like a man. <sighs> yeah, the out just saw me. All right, let's try and stay away. Lots of rooftops we can explore, but. With the curse as it is, that's mm, not really a safe proposition. How do we get in? So we can go around there. Definitely going to activate some curse monsters. We could drop into this building, maybe. How do Maybe we can get in here somewhere. Fuck like the shadows here. Oh, yeah, it's got this vent. Oh, shit. Okay, that's spawned outside somewhere. We don't need to worry too much. Mental Spire, here we come. Magical lights in there. Alright, let's do another hot set. So we should be okay with the lights in here. Well, they seem to have stopped, cleared out all the necromancers, paraphernalia. That's not a magical light. Well, we've finally purchased the tower. Finally got it clear of old Azaran's estate. Azaran the cruel. <laughs> Azaran the dolt. What a daft old bugger. He's still dead. So what if he can summon legions of zombies? He's as dead as the burst's brain cells. Killing himself to free him of the bonds of flesh? Dead's dead. That's what I always say. What a disgusting mess he made of this place. The first was the bed. A perfectly good bed ruined because he killed himself in it and left his body to decay. I don't care what the finance office said. I'm not sleeping in it. I'm not the Archmage for nothing. If finance thinks it's still good, they can sleep in it or give it to one of the students. They probably never know the difference. I just hope it gets picked up before there's any more discussion of the matter. Secret switches? Hidden triggers? Where's that damn red light coming from on the second floor? Azaran was completely daft. He's the only one who lived here. Why all the secrets? Anyway, they're all removed. Now I need a better way to get around between floors. Teleporting takes too much out of me to do it constantly. Those stairs from the first floor are a death trap. 
Wait until I get my hands on the workmen who did that. They'll be eating flies for a month. I need something better than that. I'm too far from the dining room. All the food is gone by the time I get there. I'll have to establish a new rule. No eating until the archmage arrives at the table. That'll slow them down. Oh, maybe I should just get a private chef for my own meals and have them here. I could convert the second floor to a kitchen. I'll have to some find some way to dispel that damn red light. How did old Azzy do that anyway? Scroll. Archmage. I left a gift for you outside, around back. I discovered him spying on you as I left. Your gift didn't survive the fall from the rooftops. Have whoever picks up the bed take this offal with it. He had a logbook of his spying on him, which will allow me some interesting bedtime reading. I know you do not agree with my plans. You also know it would be best not to interfere. Okay. So we gotta go downstairs quickly before the curse figures again, right? This is a magical light. It should be safe. Gift around back and these death trap stairs. Low. You the archmage. Wind blows, fire burns, earth shakes, water flows. I need a key. I don't have a key. Mm -hmm. Wow, he still levitates even when unconscious. To wait for this thing to go away, I think. You'll free yourself shortly. Keeps going clank against the ceiling. Oh, death, come for me, then. Let me go. Let me go. Death is the only thing left now. Death. Death. <laughs> <laughs> is that? Oh. Let's see. Directions for delivering goods. One, pull leave it open door. Two, place goods in opening. Make sure to include your billing information. Three, pull lever again to close opening. This will notify us that a delivery has been made and a servant will be sent to pick up the packages. Payment will be sent to your business within one business day. So there's the bed. And the keeper. Oh. Pawn paid from his notes. Surveillance log. Meeting. Archmage, Lord Friskill. Attack on Garrett Ruse. After keepers, knowledge. Recommendation full alert. Plan 741. Move library. After you get the amulet, meet with the keeper again. See if he's found a way to remove the curse. Oh, show this note to keeper Orlo. Right, right, right. Okay. That's the new one. So they. It wasn't about me after all. What do you mean it wasn't about me? Isn't it isn't it always about me? Doesn't it always have to be about me? Oh shit. It's gonna be able to go through the door too, right? Should I just run in circles till it fades from the world? Oh, hang on, there's this lever on the other opposite door. Does it work the same way? I'm gonna miss it. Oh no, there's no lever. I, I saw the window. I thought I saw something red light up. At least if there is a lever, it's not a big one. There's a sign about the door, I can't stop to read it. 
being chased by this. By this fellow, he's pretty fast. Almost ran into a guard. Oh, right, that's the register for delivering goods. You know what? Actually, can I? Sounds like the house may just damage from, Oh, he's taking heat damage from the spider. Well, if he's dead, that's, I guess, too bad. Not my doing. It's a damn curse. He got he got set up with Lord Pishkill. That's his own fault. Comes back to bite him. Let's wait for the spider to dissipate. We need a key. Where would a key be hiding? Not here. Well, I didn't search the upper rooms much. Are you actually dead? Yeah, you're dead now. Well. Sounds like it's summoned something there, so we can look around here a little more in safety. Oh, how do we get back up? Break the damn elevators. Crates, where's the crates? This is super awkward. Me a lot of waiting around given the, the things to dissipate. Alright. What I need is to summon something down below when he vanishes and then come back up here with, with, to get my crate and to climb up the ladder. I mean, the plus side is we've got lots of healing, right? Free take damage. Before it summons another thing, I don't know. Well, there we go. All right, so we have relative safety here for a few minutes. Leave a key here. You said you're getting rid of secrets and stuff. No, so how do I get. Oh! The keeper gave me a key, right? Keeper gave me a key. I'm a, am I a fool? Yes. I am a fool. Of course. How close? I'm not sure. 
I'm gonna need lots of these. Run from your fate. That was not in the light at all, I was in darkness. Oh my god. I guess the good news is it spawned the thing and I'm not being seen by it, but uh. Can this go on? Help me. Please help me. Mm. The actual servant's heads are creepier than this half skull, half servant. That's the, uh, and the glowy lights in the, in the eye sockets are just, I don't know, unnecessarily cheesy. I'm gonna run past, and um, because it's here, you know that's that's, that's one curse instance. Avoid it, right? You should have realised that. The ones that are relatively safe. <laughs> I want to see him fight. To hide in the shadows is to reveal your fear. Noise makes it be good, but our sanctum is invaded. Oh wow, okay. You cannot escape the inevitable. Escape while you can. We wish to be left alone. The darkness will not protect you for long. I can't come here, I can't. Oh, I can hide from you, I suppose. I can't summon a thing to attack you from here. To attack will gain you nothing, man. To hide in the shadows. To reveal your fear, intruder. I just get enough into the light to summon something, but I didn't. He has, he has returned to the shadows. You cannot, you cannot hide from the inevitable. Oh, he's a damn water mage. No, he's an air mage. The darkness will not okay, so they can they can destroy those things very easily. So I guess my plan to use them to uh, kill the mages is, is not a good plan. Uh, I think this guy needs to be knocked out then, because... You cannot escape the inevitable. Just calm him down. Eternal fire and shadows reveal your cowardice, intruder. You'll see the hurricane that cannot be outrun. Leave us. Oh wow, all the majors are here. Hope they don't notice their dead friend. I mean, unconscious. What vision disturbs me? It was a false vision. I shall walk the path until I return. Not try to escape. Not belong. Feel the sting of my not fear your death. Return to the eternal fire while you can. I saw the intruder. No, 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 you didn't. Darkness shall let the darkness take you. Oh. 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 
cannot escape the inevitable. It cannot be out. Not be long. You may have returned to darkness, but time. <gasps> the shadows. <gasps> Everybody's upset. I think they're fighting a uh a thing that maybe wants to fight me too. circus again. I guess I could slow fall. Our sanctum is invaded. There is a strange presence here. Where's the library? I don't know. Do we have a map of this place? We do not. This way, guys, don't come this way. Oh, I see the end to this damn summoning curse. Okay, we have a hello. We have a weird slug. Huh. Glowy goals. These experiment rooms. Something there. We have weird nearly growing crystal. A replica of the eye. And whatever that is. Okay, well this is things here, but I don't know if we need any of them. Is it a clock? There's a clock. Hmm. Alright, well we know it's the West End uh, experiment rooms. West End round floor. Alright, let's uh... <coughs> it's just too volatile a situation with these guys hanging around when summons ha occur, because they just all start fighting it, noise happens, mess happens. Okay, took a frog beast here. Or was it a rabbit? Maybe it was a rabbit. Oops. Dang. Three flash bombs. Leave us while you can. I thought it was. I thought it was. It's just rabbit. Dang it. I shall steal your breath away, thief. The darkness shall overtake you. The 
shadows do not show feel the sting of my anger. The elements to smite you. The earth will protect me. The false one must not learn our ways. Shadows. That's a lot of them. It's not. The eternal end of darkness. Darkness. <coughs> Hang on. Let's have two of those. Uh, oh. I'm gonna do this. Now, three weeks we know. How vulnerable to fire. Quite vulnerable, okay. Hope you're happy. Odd no curses. Um. I was just saying it's odd that no curses means someone's here, but apparently they have been. Wow, well, that's just a. Well, most of them are unconscious. Are you a dangerous rabbit? Probably right. I wouldn't trust anything in this uh, in this area, in this place. This is magical lights. Okay. Relative safety. And nothing I need. And not even any equipment for me. Okay. I mean. Relatively safe room is good, but... Where's the library? That must be it. Okay, hello. Oh, you must be the one that keeps it cold, the... Garrett. I've been waiting for you. How can you understand me? Why, it's magic. I am a powerful wizard, even though my outward appearance this is unusual. Is too Mr. Garrett. This book has the combinations you'll need to get into the research chambers. It leaves a book of combinations in the cell where you find the amulet. I will retrieve it when you are gone. Okay. Be careful, there are many dangers for you here. My brother wizards as well as magical items. And this rabbit that keeps opening the door. And please take it easy on my brothers. There is no need for excessive violence. Now head back to the main hallway and go west from there. You'll find the research chambers behind the locked door. Yes. You should go get the amulet. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, you didn't let me see about the amulet. You went straight on to the next line. Okay, okay. Research notes. Research summaries and combinations. Each time a new magical ob object is entered into the research center, a new combination is assigned to the testing cell. Please do not attempt to use old combinations. You may get stuck in a cell for several days before anyone misses you. Currently, we have a few magical oddities and some new objects from an obviously deranged man. He sold us several strange objects, claiming he's from some future time. Nonsense. He's simply mad. If you could travel through time, you could go back and kill your grandfather so you'd never have been born. So there. It's impossible. More artifact. Combination 0654. This appears to be related to other objects retrieved from the moor. 
Strangely, it seems to have properties associated with the gem called the Eye. Perhaps it had a long association with the gem, or in some way came from the same material. It almost looks as if the Eye could fit into this object. Obviously, more research is called for. Rincewind's Amulet. An amulet discovered by an old colleague, Rincewind. For being a fairly poor wizard, he survived many hair-raising experiences. Perhaps this amulet helped hide him from magical effects? It doesn't seem to radiate much magic, there isn't much interest in it, and we'll need this space soon. It's scheduled to be returned to storage next week. Alright, I guess that's what I need. Empty. Available for a new item. Please change this combination when we receive the item. Unknown eggs. These unknown eggs, three, were sold to us by the man from the future. He said he didn't know what they were, but found them on his ship. I know he was deranged because I checked at the docks. He never arrived on a ship. Ah, one of the eggs has hatched into a large worm. It must have eaten the other eggs because they're not here. I couldn't have lost them. It seems to like to eat rats, dead or alive. It is growing quickly. Floating magical fields. Another item from out of range salesman. He claims this represented some kind of planetary motion. Mad, mad he is. Everyone knows our world is held up by four giant elephants riding on the back of a turtle. Nonetheless, it is an interesting effect. I can detect no magic aura at all. More research is indicated. Simulacra life. This object has a bizarre story. A magical explosion in a wizard's home killed several people and destroyed much of his house. A cuckoo clock was also destroyed, but the little carved bird in the clock took on a semblance of life. It adopted a nearby grandfather clock, so we have removed both here for, stu for study. The bird seems content as long as it can stay near the clock, and the clock is kept wound. I'm afraid if we let the clock stop, the bird will abandon it and find another clock. Constantine Artifact Another more type artifact, but this one came from the home of Constantine after it was determined he was in fact the trickster. It radiates a strong magical aura, but seems to have no discernible function. It does seem to have enlarged during its presence here and become slightly transparent. More study is required. Unknown device Another device from our nutcase salesman. Obviously mechanically advanced, but it doesn't do anything. Nicely glowing gems on it, no detectable magical aura. Danger! Under no circumstances is anyone to enter this room danger. During my last magical divination, I discovered that this is some kind of weapon. As soon as I determined this, the device seemed to come alive. It began flashing and ticking. I'm afraid it may explode or something. Okay, well we have... Right, get rid of someone's amulet, leave the book of combinations in the cell where you got the amulet. After you get it, meet with the keeper again, see if he's found a way to re re remove the curse. Uh, resolve. Could not, I don't know why I was stumbling over the word remove. Perfectly straightforward word. Uh, I like that you've got binds to get around the library and a, a little patch of jungle here. In your office, I guess, the librarians. Oh, bedchamber too. Well, as much as I am um, kind of not in favour of the um, what would we say? How do we call it? That magical light? Uh, not sure. Let's leave, leave the examination of that room till we've got the amulet. So it can't, as much as I'm not sure if I'm in favour of, uh, well, not sure I'm not, I'm definitely not in favour, but well, we need the western end of the whole Discworld Thief crossover, I think it is more than slightly ridiculous. Ah, it's entertaining enough, I suppose. Okay. Well... Let's just look upon our work, see mighty, and uh, end the episode here. Thanks very much for watching, and see you soon for the next one. When we're going to go and save, play with all the research artifacts. Probably have to reload due to death or horrific effects. Uh, and then get the amulet that we need to stop our curse, or at least to disable the curse while we wear it. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.